folks, Mike and McGee here. Yes, my voice is a little off. I am under the weather right now. By the time you see this video, I'll either be dead or better, but I won't be like I am now. But anyway, I wanna say a thank you to my neighbor for getting me this microphone because I can't even talk loud enough to be picked up at the camera. So anyway, let's take a look here. What you see is a field of clover that should have been mowed a week and a half ago. But the problem was time issues. We were going on a houseboat adventure and you cannot postpone a houseboat. You use it or you lose the dough. So I'm gonna just pull some up here and show you. It's not really bad. <clears throat> a lot of the red is gone, but uh, the leaves are all still pretty good. They're not, they're not losing value. So I think the nitrogen is still there. We're gonna get in here and we're gonna mow it down and we're gonna plow it and we're gonna plant corn. My objective is to get all of my fields ready and plant them all, hopefully the same day, probably tomorrow, but I'm gonna get to work really hard today mowing and plowing it under so that I can go ahead and get this show on the road. Now this field also has a lot of wheat in it. What I discovered was the wheat will trigger the clover to produce more nitrogen. So we're hoping for that to be the case. Now right here where you see there's nothing, it's got the old, this is the silage that's spoiled on the edges and underneath. That is prime, prime fertilizer. Last year, this corner where we did the pile was the greenest and the best. So now we have doubled our amount, maybe quadrupled our amount. And we had a pretty good pile of left over and we went down on this side where there wasn't a lot of clover and spread it there. So I think we're in good shape. We're gonna get out here and get to work. That field mowed beautifully. I was able to knock it down in under an hour. I saw Rusty catch a rabbit that came running out. That is his ultimate goal in life, he thinks, is to chase rabbits. And every once in a while, he'll catch one. He caught this one, about a half grown one. But now we are over at the other side of the property. This is where we hunt deer. As you can see, the clover's in about the same situation. The blooms have pretty much change colors. They're getting ready to go to seed. Basically, this is where we grew corn last year for silage, and then we planted clover, then we hunted it. Caleb got his deer in this field. I don't know if you remember the deer hunt that Caleb was on, but a lot of people enjoyed that video. So anyway, I'm gonna get out and mow this one, and we'll also turn it under. knocked out except for this one little patch of thistles here and the reason I didn't mow it is because I wanted to show you I found a turkey nest and these tur this turkey had about 10 eggs here this is the reason why that I don't do this until late in May or first of June because I do not want to run my turkeys off the nest because they won't come back and it would also even if it came back and all of it was mowed around it would be very easy for the coyotes to find it what I don't know, they're all opened up very similar, all of them. I would like for somebody in the comments to drop down and let me know, is this from hatching or is this predation? I, I'm not that familiar with it and I don't incubate eggs enough to see. I would like to know, did she hatch them or was it destroyed by possums? Now I've been trapping this and I didn't hunt, I did not turkey hunt this year. Last year I got two nice toms and one of them was right here in this field. Turkey numbers are down all over Tennessee so I decided I'm not gonna turkey hunt, I'm gonna focus on coyotes and other predators. We've got a lot of possums, 
a couple coons, a fox, and five coyotes this year already, just right off this place. So I'm happy, I feel like I've done my part to help these guys, and I certainly hope that this is the product of a hatch and not the product of a snatch. But either way, I've got to mow this thistle and I'll be ready to plow. Let's do it. All right, the boys went and swapped out the bush hog for the plow for me. While they did that, I went in and took about an hour nap. I feel a little more energetic, but I feel much sicker. So I can tell I'm probably not gonna finish both fields, plowing both fields today. That would be wide open hammering. And the last thing I wanna do is throw my neck out. And when you're plowing, you look back quite a bit to make sure it's plowing right, not getting wadded up. So let's go see what we can do. I'm not sure how far I'll get along on it, but sometimes you can't get everything done you wanna do. Sometimes you push through it and do all you can though. Let's go. Like the farmer said when he got this new plow, this opens up a whole new field to me. Mm -hmm. I was backing up to hit her another pass and I saw something shiny in the ditch and I want you to look what a night crawler. That is unbelievable. Found it in that red clay. That's absolutely unbelievable. I think I may give that to the boys and see what they want to do with it. I wonder what they would do with that. Look what I found. Uh -huh. Did you ever see such a worm? Yeah. You know what kind it is? Night crawler? Yes. That's a night crawler. Do you have a worm container? Mm-hmm. What happened to all the worms we had when we was fishing? Oh, they're up there. Well, take them up there and put them in. Ooh, that's a fun. <laughs> ate lunch and it took me about a three hour nap and I just don't feel like laying around I want to get out there and plow it's so pretty but I don't feel like it I'd have to get better to die <coughs> but maybe I will get better before I die let's go get it done the sickest plow job I've ever seen. I don't know if you've noticed, but the word sick, it actually means really cool and good nowadays, and I don't get it because being sick is the, for the dogs. I mean, it's pitiful. I don't like being sick, and I don't get sick much. And sometimes you just have to plow through it. 
Well, I was hoping to get a lot more done than just this field, but I am happy I got done what I did. It gives me a sense of satisfaction, and I think maybe I'll sleep good tonight. But that's all we've got for you today. You're going to be seeing corn grow up here. We had the most amazing amount of biomass that I've ever seen. This is going to grow corn. This is going to grow corn. This stuff here is packed with nitrogen, and that corn is going to love it. So that's all we've got for you. You know what's coming. There's going to be some corn planting, and there's going to be some good stuff coming. But that's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.